Chattanooga is the fourth largest city in the state of Tennessee. It sits along the border of two states, Tennessee and Georgia, along the Tennessee River. As of 2020, the population came in at 181,099 residents, and that number is expected to increase due to the rapid growth in the metropolitan area. It is known for certain scenic city attractions, such as the Chattanooga Choo Choo, Ruby Falls, the Tennessee Aquarium, and Rock City. However, despite the city's largest tourist attractions, Chattanooga is also known for its deep, dark secrets of hauntings that plague the city. Whether it's the poltergeists that frequent hotels, the murdered Civil War soldiers that make appearances, the faded images of indigenous Native peoples dancing around campfires, or the sightings of the undead among cemeteries and college campuses, the city is filled with the repercussions of the past. Follow me down the rabbit hole as we explore more hauntings in my original hometown and uncover some of the most terrifying places to live and visit this is Haunted Hometown Horror Stories, Season 2. Welcome or welcome back to Shanae's Law. We are moving on to our final episode for this year. Happy Halloween. We are in episode 9 of the Haunted Hometown Horror Stories and we will be discussing the hauntings of the Old South Pittsburgh Hospital in Tennessee. So 12 dozen miles away from Chattanooga, Tennessee, is one of the most haunted hospitals in the entire country. The Old South Pittsburgh Hospital is one of the most haunted places in the state of Tennessee. It is located at the bottom of the South Pittsburgh Mountain and was known as a hot spot for excited ghost hunters after it closed back in 1998. In this episode, we will explore the history of the hospital as well as the origins of its hauntings. Now let's get into the history. The Old South Pittsburgh Hospital was built in 1959 and can be found at the foothill of the South Pittsburgh Mountain in South Pittsburgh, Tennessee. Its foundation is built on a solid limestone rock and a natural spring ran directly under the hospital into the northwestern part of the Tennessee River. It was originally referred to as the South Pittsburgh Municipal Hospital aka SPMH with 68,000 square feet to respond to the fast growing needs of the community. In the early days, the city of South Pittsburgh called the land the Pittsburgh Landing and it is also noted that there was a ferry located one-eighth of a mile from the hospital's grounds that transported Civil War soldiers from the north and south in order for them to get to the popular battlefield previously discussed in this series called the Chickamauga Battlefield. Speaking of the word Chickamauga, the hospital is located on land that once belonged to the, the Chiahaya Native American Cherokee tribe back in 1778. However, the Chiahaya people allowed the Union soldiers to store supplies on their property during the Civil War. However, things turned for the worse after the Confederate Army infiltrated the area and murdered both the Union soldiers and some of the Native American tribal members. As a result, mass graves were utilized to bury the bodies. After the Civil War, the property was initially abandoned until the end of the summer of 1863 when the Union soldiers reclaimed the land. However, this did not benefit the local residents still there due to the Union troops taking their livestock, their grown crops, and items that were stored there with them during their departure. 
locals became frantic and then decided to capitalize on the local resources that inhabited the region, such as limestone. Eventually, a railroad was built through the area and brought more locals more opportunities. Despite the promising future for the region, it was still stained by the bloodshed, betrayal, and carnage that the American Civil War caused the original residents. Consequently, many believe that the land's haunted history began with this tragedy. The hauntings. For decades, it has been reported that the lands of the Old South Pittsburgh Hospital have been haunted. Due to its toxic and violent past, Many people believe that the paranormal activities take place there are due to the fact that the bloodshed occurred on the property. As a result, there have been many paranormal investigations by professionals to gather information about the hauntings. Not only did the evidence from locals ring true, but the information from the investigations also confirmed the evidence that they were seeking out. There are many stories filled with many different ghosts and experiences to discuss their findings. Let's get into the first one. The third floor. This sounds like a movie. Anyway, the third floor is where the majority of surgeries were performed, but it is also known to be one of the most haunted parts of the entire building. It is said to be the domain of many different ghosts. There is one in particular that is popular among many witnesses. The ghost of the young toddler. He is believed to be around two or three years old and is very active. He often encourages the living to play with him and requests to be held as well. They affectionately started calling him Buddy. There are also other spirits that dwell the third floor. The spirit of an elderly lady has also been seen. Those who have seen her have reported that she appears to be the apparition of a female nurse. Some have opted to call her a quote-unquote naughty nurse due to her personality and say that she worked in the basement region of the hospital. She was also given the title of a quote-unquote naughty nurse due to touching individuals in private areas and whispering sweet nothings in their ears to those who visited the basement. The naughty nurse is not the only basement dwelling ghost that has been seen. Some say that he was one of the past surgeons that worked in a medical facility. He has also been known to not be a fan of the living and ghost hunters reported that he often screams out get out or leave at them when spotted. The ghost hunters have reason to believe that the demonic figure is the origin of the foul smell that occurs whenever his presence is close by. Some intelligent spirits have informed the living individuals that this seven foot tall ghost does not want them associating with those that are alive. Even though people say that his presence is strong, evil, overwhelming, and sinister, no one has ever actually been physically hurt by him. Those who have experienced an encounter with this ghost say that this is the reason why the Old South Pittsburgh Hospital is one of the most haunted places in the entire state of Tennessee, if not the entire country. Employee Experiences With the horrific past of the hospital, it is not hard to believe that the staff experienced hardships with the paranormal as well. For instance, it has been reported that many nurses experienced physical deaths while working at the hospital. One of the not so lucky nurses that met her demise is one that we mentioned earlier, the naughty nurse. The lucky ones only experienced paranormal sightings. Many hospital employees that were working while the hospital was in full operation have shared their experiences about happenings during their work shifts. They reported that it was common for different inanimate objects such as medicine carts, hospital beds, wheelchairs, and many other items to move on their own. Paranormal Ghost Hunters and Investigations With all of the horrors that have been known have taken place and reported at the old South Pittsburgh Hospital, it is no wonder that people will come from all over the world to experience and or research the haunted facility. Many of those encounters of visitors were reported about the paranormal activity that they witnessed. For example, reports of sightings of a childlike spirit named Buddy was spotted around a maternity ward while paranormal groups were studying there. They also said the spirit would roll items in their direction to entice them to roll it back and engage in playing with them. 
One ghost hunter stated that Buddy whispered in her ear and asked to be picked up and held. However, Buddy's spirit is the only positive experience that many visitors encounter. The rest are said to belong all in hell. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> some paranormal seekers who choose to stay overnight in the hospital for strange activity got exactly what they were looking for in the building. Witnesses say that the abandoned medical furniture, including gurneys, wheelchairs, and other equipment, moved on their own. The remaining hospital beds left in the hospital would also seem to move to other areas without actual humans relocating them. Meanwhile, the hospital's ER and general admissions was located on the second floor. The paranormal group felt the presence of a large EVP was picked up along with a terrifying amount of screams from men, women, and children. The locals' experiences. Clearly, living in a small town or city, war travels really fast and the local people knew all of the legends of the terrors that haunted that town, including the hospital. This situation is no different. The local residents and visitors claim to have seen apparition figures, caught supernatural entities on film, and heard strange noises coming from that area. Former employees of the old South Pittsburgh Hospital, who worked there while it was up and running, reported often seeing things move on their own and seeing dark shadows lurking in the hallways. Present day, those who were interested in experiencing scares themselves can attend the old South Pittsburgh Hospital and pay up to $75 to partake in an overnight investigation. It allows the ghost hunts to take place for up to 10 hours in the most haunted hospital in the state of Tennessee. There are also daytime ghost investigations that are offered as well, especially for you all who just can't hang. It is reported that many research groups have studied the South Pittsburgh Hospital and it was also featured on the Sci-Fi Channel. In essence, the old South Pittsburgh Hospital has a legacy filled with horror and sorrow despite being built out of good intentions. No matter how much paranormal enthusiasts may glorify this abandoned medical facility, it still remains one of the most haunted hospitals in the southern region of the United States of America. All right, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. This is our final one for this year. Hope you guys are safe, happy, and healthy. I will see you on my next video. This series will not make a comeback until, God willing, October 2023. You all have a happy and blessed season. Protect your energy. See you next time. Thank you.